I've been thinking about doing this video for a while. A few months ago, I found that my Therafosa Sturmy had broken both of her fangs in a bad molt. She was grabbing prey as you'd expect any tarantula to do. And then she was holding it and then nothing was happening. She'd hold it for a few hours and then I'd find it released alive or she would still be holding it, you know, 12 hours later and the bug was still very clearly alive. And so, yeah, I knew something was up. I just, I wasn't sure what. So I got her malt out, her second stomach came out fine in the malt. Um, and I actually, um, found out just by checking her anatomy that both her fangs, both of them had, yeah, snapped. Um, scoured the internet for help, couldn't find any, couldn't find any instructional videos. Using the knowledge of multiple people and also my personal experience, um, here is how to feed a tarantula if they have snapped fangs. For this, you are going to need some sort of dish scissors, tongs, and I find this tool really useful and we will shortly find out why. The first thing we're gonna do is prepare the bug. So I'm gonna actually anti-back my hands just to make sure that I don't introduce anything into the bug juice that is not of the bug. My chosen bug is a Moria worm uh, because they are full of fat. So I do want to warn you just before I go ahead that this part is not nice. First time I did it I literally hated myself. Lots of guilt about this but it's a necessity. So the first thing you're going to do is crush your Moria worm's head. No part of this process is nice. So I'm just gonna take it, crush its head, I'm gonna cut the Moria worm's head off. Any reaction you see here on out as a, as a body movement is just nerves uh, firing. The animal is dead. I'm just gonna do it again, it's not nice. So I'm gonna then take the worm and I'm literally gonna just roll. Like I said, this process is just horrible. You should be left with something that looks like this. I'm gonna get Wolf out, but bear in mind, when you're handling these animals, that you're going to get a feed and response from them. So try not to panic too much if they hang on to your tongs or tweezers or you know like Wolf is doing now she's resisting which you know if someone came into my house and tried to pull me out yeah I would resist too the next part massive disclaimer I'm really lucky that I have zero reaction to Therophosa hairs they are one of the more potent hairs I suppose so if you know you have a reaction to them or if you don't know if you have a reaction to them please for the love of Christ put gloves on. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to need to pinch grab the tarantula so what you're going to do is you want to aim your fingers for here and here and it's a light gentle grab so you're not squeezing or pressing. If you don't know how to pinch grab don't listen to this video, go and learn how to do that first. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries. You gently lift them and you should have them in a position that looks like this, so you are able to access their mouth parts. So the first thing I want to do is I'm just gonna get this full of water. I'm just gonna go ahead and just give her a little clean on the fangs. Because we're giving her liquefied food direct to the mouth parts. There's gonna be a buildup and you're gonna need to clean it. For the most part, she is eating. 
all of the bug stuff but there might be a little excess that you have the responsibility of removing you might get some leg wiggles I mean wouldn't you be stressed if you were in this position the reason I love this tool is because I can use it for water but I can also use it to apply the bug juice so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to apply it to the fangs but essentially that is useless you're going to want to pop it in the middle and then lightly now no hard pushing at all is massage it near the mouth parts so what she will do now is she will start regurgitating juices that will liquefy this and she will be able to use her sucking stomach to bring it up into her mouth and take it in as a source of energy. Since I found out that she'd broken her fangs, this is what has been working for me. And that's it. Then you take the spider and return them to their enclosure. So as I put her down there, she's not gone into a stress position. She's not running, you know, overall a stress-free sort of process. So what I'll do is the next morning or evening, depending on when I feed her, I'll check that she hasn't dropped the bug blob. But generally she has, it's not her, it's her fangs that are broken. It's not her calissary. So they, they are holding the bugs and, and you know, they still have full movement. So yeah, just keep an eye. Good luck.